Hi, welcome to the side video. I've got the George Sheard. There he is. Hello. We've got different angles this time. Yeah. It now feels like a professional setup. There he is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be going head to head with a trivia game because we're both fantastic at trivia. Absolutely. So you'd think, because we're both so into the fandom at this point, that we'd know these things. I bet we're going to be so terrible at this. I'm worried, yeah. <laughs> like, what are the categories? Are they our categories, aren't they? Or yeah, so the categories are Time Lords, Companions, Episodes, Years and Dates, Monsters, yes, Cast, yes. Crew and Beyond. Yeah, the Years, years and Dates and dates. Shit. Oh, well, dear. Yeah. great. But to add a bit of sauce, there is actually a prize. If you win, Okay. You get a you get a choice of oh, one of these <laughs> vintage books. Well, some of them are vintage. These two are the what genuinely? Yes. For the hour. So we've got Day of the Doctor by Moffat. We've got Rose by RTD. We've got oh. some of these, which are very old. We've got Keys of Marinus. We've got Frontios and everybody's favourite Time Lash. Time Lash. Time Lash. So you will get to go home with one of these if you win. If I win. And if I win. I get to gloat. <laughs> <laughs> As you're the guest, I'll let you roll first. Right, okay, so I'll green. Yeah. So that is, what was that one? I should really keep this here so I can tell. This is Monsters. Oh shit, right, okay. Oh, this is a very easy one. Okay. What is the name of the Daleks' home planet? Skull. How did he do it? I should give it, keep a tally, really, shouldn't ding, I? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Are you crazy, frog? What? Reference. <laughs> so, one point. One point to George. Wow. It's uh, to six. Okay. To six, because that's usually our trivial pursuit yeah. word. Six cheeses. But we don't have cheeses. It didn't come with the game. Josh should give me luck. Monsters yeah. again. We over anticipate how difficult this would be. Yeah, it's quite possible that in as which, long as none of us roll years and dates. In which. <laughs> I think even then we'll be alright. In which story was Davros first introduced? No, it wasn't Destiny. It wasn't Journey's End. <laughs> <laughs> Which is for no. Was it Genesis of the Daleks? It was. <gasps> yeah. One point to me. We're all tied up. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> oh, we can Google the, the hardest Doctor Who trivia question. Or we could do those Buzzfeed quizzes. Which companion are you? <laughs> Which two companions were with the Doctor on his very first regeneration? Ben and Polly. Is it? Oh God! I hope I got that right. Correct, oh it is Ben and Polly. I was actually did for you, a second I was like, Did you see the panic in his yeah, eyes? Yeah. He's on the move! <laughs> He's trying to run away! You Go can't on. win that I'm easily. To Here we go, Time Lords. I know what they are. Oh, come on. What is the name of the broken camouflage unit that is meant to disguise the Doctor's TARDIS wherever it lands? The what? Oh, right, yeah. The, for a second you were acting like all high and mighty and I was like, what? <laughs> it's, is it the Chameleon Saket? I mean, if you want to pronounce it like that, yeah, but that's correct. <laughs> yes! Fun fact, the chameleon circuit is named after the chameleon. <laughs> Fun fact! Top ten things you didn't know about Doctor Who. <laughs> Roll away. Uh, watch more with your Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen? Fourteen? What the? What? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't have numbers on it. They're only fourteen. It's been a long train journey. Yeah. Are you, do you know the Fourteenth Doctor? And you're, that's like your brain's trying to Shit. tell everyone. <laughs> oh, David Tennant's back. Ah. Years and dates. In which year? Oh, this might be easy. Did the Jadoon make their first appearance? Two thousand seven. Is that a final answer? Yeah. Correct. It's oh, two thousand seven. I was trying to find oh, you. Oh, that was. Oh. The mind games. Because the cards are too wheezy. Orange. Cast, crew, and beyond. Oh, cock. This might oh, be. beyond. This might do me in it. I'm not very good at casting crew. I know who Chris Chibnall is. This is actually. Oh, no. Interesting. So I, I, there is a multiple choice, but I'm not going to read it out immediately. Mm. That's if you can get it without. Mm. Which member of the League of Gentlemen starred in the episode Silence in the Library? Starred in Silence in the Library from League of Gentlemen. I mean, there are four names here that I can read out if you need them. I mean, it's not Mark Gatiss, but I don't know any of the other names, so please give me the most of the choice. So Mark Gatiss, mm. Reese Shearsmith, okay. Jeremy Dyson, yeah. Steve Pemberton. I don't know who any of those people are. Oh, really? Oh, no! Are you going to watch Inside Number 9? Nope! I'm going to go with Pemberton. You'd be correct. Oh! Um, what a guess! I thought I might have it in the bag there. Woo! Oh, casting That's, crew ones are all right, know, actually. Give it up, well done. casting crew. Well done, Premier Pursuit Doctor Who team. You did a good job with that <laughs> one question. Roll away. Oh, yes, it's my turn. Yellow, what's that? 
episodes of the story. Oh, shit. Ooh. This is why I think this is why I mess it up. In which 1980s story is a Dalek first seen levitating up a flight of stairs? Oh, hang on. <gasps> is it Remembrance? I don't know, is that your final answer? Oh, well, that is my final answer, so I can't think of any others. Remembrance is oh, correct! My God. Yeah, I thought it was. It's the bit when he's Sylvester McCoy's against the door. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's all right. sexy. He's like, oh no, oh, no. don't get me, <laughs> You've got four, I've got three. Brilliant. I'm it's about it's to tie it all up, hopefully. I mean, either way, you're going to win first if we keep going like this. That was the So idea. we might need to change something up. Yes. Yeah. Orange! Cast crew, damn it! <laughs> Ooh, that's uh... Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I think it's because I wouldn't know this. Oh no. Sylvester McCoy, this is actually, the cast and crew ones are actually difficult. No. Sylvester McCoy, aka the seventh doctor, in case you didn't already know that. I didn't. No. Who? <laughs> Starred in the movie adaptation of The Hobbit. He, he sure he did, did. He yeah. Did. But who did he portray? That's not a Doctor Who question, that's Lord of the Rings. Did he play Radagast, Saruman, I've never seen these Saruman. Balin, or Balin. Balin, sorry, the Goblin King. Oh, well, thank you for clarifying. Sorry. So, Radagast, yeah. Saruman, yeah. or Balin the Goblin King. Right, you said you haven't watched these movies. I am, I wouldn't know this. This neither, would be a neither have I. I mean, it's not Saruman. I know enough about Lord of the Rings to know it's not Saruman. I want to go with that first one, Radagast. Okay. Is it's it? The final answer. That is, yeah. Is it not right? Correct. Ah, yes! <laughs> Don't scare me like that, that Sheard! <laughs> Radagast! That sounds like a <laughs> Sylvester McCoy name. Okay, yeah, okay. Anyway, I'll be back. Ah, oh, shall we have the takeaway whilst you're gone? <laughs> that is not the Gemma I know. Cameo! <laughs> <laughs> It's all tied up. I think if worse comes to worse, we could probably just do the casting crew ones, because they're all difficult sort of thing. This is a years and dates question. Oh. In which year did the Tenth Doctor, played by David Tennant, Meet the fifth doctor, played by Peter Davison, oh. in the mini sewed time crash. Oh, you see, that's annoying. Cause it... That's Gemma, I assume. Some... I was like, there's noise there. She's trying to sneak about, but she's got shoes on, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm a pat down. Calm down. Cameo again! It's alright, I'm getting more time to think about the answers. Oh, this... oh no, see? hurry up. <laughs> so I think it happened between. It happened between series three finale and the Christmas special, so I think it's 2007 again. Correct. Oh, it is, well yeah. done. And I, I, to be fair, I think I would have said uh, 2008 because it's so close to the Christmas special. Yeah. That I would have just, my brain would have fired. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is a new Who one, but again, I don't know if I, I don't know why I get this. No! In which century? Century? Was the Weeping Angels story, the Time of Angels, Flesh and Storm setting? That's well, like way now, in the now, future. Now, this is multiple choice. Doesn't they have like an apple in it? <laughs> 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 there are, it is multiple choice. Okay, that fills me with is it, more confidence. <laughs> I don't know if it shows. Is it 51st, 52nd, 48th, or 50th? Oh, for God's sake! They're all... Oh, Moffa! Why couldn't you just make it Bleak Part 2 and have it be in the modern day? Can you say it same again? 51st, 52nd, 48th, or 50th? I'm just picturing River Song. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with 52nd. You're wrong. You're oh, wrong. Is it 51st? Damn it! I was... Oh. Oh, so you're on four I'm on, on four, five. you're on five. Now, if I get this next one, I don't mind we can we can make it harder. Oh, uh, you reckon? That's what she says. Well, hey. <laughs> the children are watching. Sorry. That's Little Rory. Nobody said that. Rory the Dalek is probably watching. I'm on cast and crew, so feel free to, uh -huh. to destroy my, my life. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, Linda shit. Bellingham, who can played we... the High Inquisitor in Trial of a Time Lord, I've not even seen it. <laughs> but, but, but George, okay, okay, yeah. which brand of grocery product is she famous for advertising? Are you kidding me? I don't even know the woman. I've not even seen the story. What, is it multiple choice? It's not multiple choice. It's not multiple choice. Yeah, so Linda Bellingham plays which the whole... grocery? Home. Yeah. It's not, they're not narrowing down to like... I'll be honest, fruit of I haven't heard of this either, the answer, so... Shoot. <laughs> grocery. I think um, I'm in with a shot, guys. Yeah. Um, like and subscribe to find out what happens next. That's, you Hit the that. bell. You should do that. Smash! Oh. I hate myself. I don't know. I mean, that's just... The fact that you haven't even heard of the brother. That's even more worrying. It is OXO. I don't like the cubes. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? OXO cubes. 
But I'm like, gonna Google that. I can't. They're either like croutons or they're like they're like um, beef stock. Oh. I mean, well, we're all learning something here today. <laughs> Thank you for joining this Doctor Who <laughs> based quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who trivia quiz, fuck? where we talk about beef stock. We love a bit of beef stock. Hey. Hey. Companions, I know what they are. Yeah. Wilfred Mott, final answer. What military rank did Alistair Lethbridge Stewart, Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart, one, mm. hold when he first met the Doctor? Oh, because he wasn't Brigadier at first. No, he wasn't, but this is a really weird one because of the whole mm. unit dating controversy. Oh, well, I don't even it's understand not, what that was on about. I just see Twitter. I just Twitter? I just see Twitter shout I see about Twitter something. as well. Oh, let's think. So it could be a general, could be a corporal, could be just an officer. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. That was in Web of Fear, and I really like Web of Fear. Or was it? Was he in one before Web of Fear? I'm confused. What's his No, I think, I think Web of Fear answered for me. Okay, good. Now yeah. I can seem smart. I'm cutting the bit where I was confused now. <laughs> I think it was... General. He wasn't, he was a colonel. He was a colonel? I didn't think about colonels! He does like his chicken, does Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone edit that. Someone edit Please. The Brigadier is, is it's Colonel Sanders. Sanders. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Is it all right? Is it good? This okay. is an easy one, yeah. Okay. Who was the first actor to portray the Doctor's nemesis, the Master? Roger Delgado. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's sick. That's mad, the difference in that between yeah, the last one which went fucking Oxford. What team. grocery product did Roger Delgado exactly. buy in 1967? <laughs> Technically, you win, but do you want to go for a hard one? I think we should, I think we should, we should use that as a... That's a, a test. Can I say practice? And yeah. Try some, I don't know what. Tell you what, what we can do is we go back and forth and we pick what the hardest one is and give that okay. one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. Good. So, to reiterate, what we're going to do this time for the all to play for round, which I'm going to suddenly call it, is first to six on the hardest question on the card. And then that person is the win. Exactly. Yeah. That's English. It so, sure do you want me to read yours first, or do you want to read Go for it. You, you read away. Right, let's have a look at the hardest one on here. What is. does TARDIS stand for? Oh! <laughs> oh There's no. some odds on here. <laughs> I don't like the sound no, of this. It's quite, it's quite up to date, this, actually. We're going to go for companions on this one. That's the hardest okay, one, okay. What is the name of Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart's wife in the 1989 story Battlefield? Oh, I have his you, wife. I can give you four options here. I want to say, yeah, all right, go, go, go. What were you going to say? I was going to say, like, Dolores. That sounds like an old lady name. It's interesting. Um, the options are Doris, Doreen, Donna, or Dolores. Oh, <laughs> this changes things, though, because I was closer than I thought I was. You actually said one of the answers there, but is it right? I'm leaning more towards Doris now I've heard it. It's either Doris or Dolores. They're too close together. I'm going to, oh, no. I'm going to go with Dolores. You're wrong, it was Doris. Damn it! <laughs> no! Curse you, Doris! Thanks, Doris. Thanks for the win, Doris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Doris Love. Okay, I'm gonna go with a Peter Capaldi era question in Time Lords. Oh, you would do that, wouldn't you? You, want, would. you do one that I should know. Yeah, that makes it all the sweeter when you get it wrong. The Doctor swore an oath to guard Missy's body in the Quantum Fold chamber. Yes, you But did. for how many years? A thousand years. Damn it. <laughs> I thought hey. I, was like, I should have turned over yeah. the card. I thought it was giving yeah. me like a really awkward number. Cheers, Doris. Once again, thank you. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> oh, some of these are oh, despicable. I like, need to keep my is, time lash. There is one that I could do, but it's oh, is it too bad? Is it? It's uh, despicable. But there's one that is also difficult, but probably easier. Mm. Okay. I'll read out the slightly easier one, I reckon. Okay, um, I like the sound of that. Um, <sighs> Go on then. Which year is it when the Tenth Doctor meets Queen Victoria and a werewolf creature in Scotland and there is no multiple choice? You have to know the year. Okay. Now, here's where my lack of knowledge about the royal family comes into question. When did she die? Do you remember when she died? Nope. No. Wait, what, didn't she die at like, the turn of... The 19th century, like 1905. Then she became a big wolf and just sort of like. Yeah, shot. yeah, she turned into a wolf and she got shot. But that's what the government doesn't want you to know. I think it's 18 something for sure. I'm gonna go with 18. I'll, I'll tell you, if you get it within five, I'll give it to you. Oh, okay, I like that. I reckon that's. I'm fair. gonna go with 18. 79? <laughs> you got it in one, well done. Fuck off, did yeah. I actually? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the more difficult one that I was considering was which member of the Men Behaving Badly cast portrayed a slimy 
effete and all those. Arrogant Prince in the fifth Doctor Story snake dance. Oh, there's definitely when they got there. Yeah, Martin Clunes, yeah. I got him bang on! I can't believe that. That's <laughs> shocking. I would never have even... 1879. Uh, well even done. if I don't win, I'm gonna just gonna be living that. <laughs> Complete the 2006 story, The What Pit. <laughs> Which doctor declared, after blowing up a Dalek, for a man who abhors violence, I took great satisfaction in doing that. And it's not multiple choice. Which doctor said that? Which doctor said that after blowing up a Dalek? Say the quote again. I was this close to saying it in the impression, which would have yeah. given it away. For a man who abhors violence, I took great satisfaction in doing that. See, my instinct there, because it's not one that I, it's not a new doctor. I don't think it is. I right, don't think uh, Jodie Whittaker yelled that in resolution. <laughs> For a man who opposed violence, that's a great satisfaction in doing that. No, I don't think it was Jodie Whittaker. No. I think that narrows that down a little bit. I think, I don't think it was, I don't think it's any new who doctor because I've watched them recently and I don't recognise that quote. It seems quite old fashioned. That's fair. My instinct is the fourth doctor, but I don't think that's right. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm going to guess, this is a total guess because I, I don't think I've seen the story. Mm. I might not have done and that's even worse. Yeah. I think I think it might be Colin Baker. You reckon? Sixth Doctor. I'm totally wrong. Is that your one. final answer? That is my final answer. It's the third Doctor in Planet of the Daleks yeah, apparently. Yeah, I haven't seen it. So. I took great satisfaction in doing that. Well, it's like being with John Coleshaw, it's fantastic. Yeah. What that, ask me, it's like when I went on Who Knew and, and no, it was Mr. Tardis's um, live stream. Mm. He kept like prodding me like, I'm sorry to treat you like a performing monkey, but do the voice, do the voice. Yeah. We're still on one each. This Good. is hard. I'll put on the glasses, I'll see through the card and it'll give me the answer. That's how it was. No, she's a lot of void stuff. <laughs> this is a companion question. When she decided to stop travelling with the fifth doctor, mm. what were Tegan's final words as the TARDIS dematerialised in front of her? I didn't even realise <laughs> that you got that on. I genuinely, that shocked me. What was her final line as the TARDIS leaves? Not the exact quote. I mean, it would make sense for it to be like Braveheart or something. Because that sounds like, oh, oh no, or oh, did she like really regret it? Damn it! What was that? What was that story? Braveheart? I don't know. That's that's my guess. You know, you weren't actually far off, oh. but I'm not going to give you it because it's damn it. It's not really good. <laughs> if I know it, Braveheart, Tegan, Doctor, I will miss you. Oh, yeah. I thought it, Tegan would have been like Braveheart, my ass. Which two doctors appeared in the story? Two doctors. Uh, <laughs> Jodie Whittaker <laughs> and William Hartnell. That would have no. I'd like. I'd watch that. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Is this my future? Mm. Where's your style gone? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> My favourite quote of Jodie Whittaker's, it's not when she's the Doctor, I don't know what show it's from, but she's just yelling, I will piss on your floor! And I don't know where don't know, it's that, from. That, I don't know what that is, but I presume it's something like Centrinians or something. I hope Maybe so, because it, it really gave me a chuckle. Cast and crew. Oh. Richard Wilson starred in the Ninth Doctor adventure, The Empty Child. Did he? But he sure did. Oh yeah. But which grumpy character was he f most famous for playing? Hang on. There's four. Uh, I don't want. I don't want the. I oh. want to try and get this because okay. I feel like I should know it. Because the show is One Foot in the Grave. I think. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't say the show. Um, it's just four different characters. I might actually have to go for multiple choice in this one. All right. I feel like I, I will know it. It does make you less of a man, but all right. Well. Is it? Basil Fawlty. No. Edmund Blackadder. No. <laughs> Victor Mulder. It's Victor Mulder. That's it. Or Bishop Brennan. It's Victor Mulder. It's Victor Mulder. <laughs> We're gonna go for episodes and stories. Ooh. You said it's like um, who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, <laughs> gonna find a friend. Yeah, you've got um, you've got three lifelines left. Yeah, good. Um. <laughs> Ask the audience. I don't know if asking the audience will help in this situation. Yeah. There's what do you think, guys? What do you think? Help! What kids TV show does the master watch when he's imprisoned in the Sea Devils? That was like the 70s, I don't even know what's on in the 70s. I'm gonna it's say... very classic. Is it? I'm gonna yeah. say the only one that's springing to mind, Rainbow. It's the only no, show I know. No? It's not Rainbow. Is it like, what is it? It's the Clangers. Oh, the Clangers! That yeah, the little sense. space rat things. Damn you, I Clangers! Do you have two ones. and I have one. It's another Capaldi question. Really? What is the name of the university? Where the Doctor and Bill Potts first meet. What is the name? I think it's St. Luke. Is that the final answer? Yeah, it is, but I might be wrong. Cock. Hey! <laughs> You're well on your way to winning one of these books. Oh, I can't wait. Right. I expect a full review. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you do with a pose. Um. <laughs> you do it with a book. 
can't remember where the camera was, I was looking for the light. <laughs> Doing YouTube for nine years and I can't work out where our camera is, so. Yay. I'll do this one because it's the like, only vaguely difficult one. And it's interesting as well. Mm -hmm. Pauline Collins, who played Queen Victoria in Tooth and Claw, I see. was nominated for a leading actress Oscar oh. for which of the following films? Oh. And I'll read them out. Okay. Educating Rita, Shirley Valentine, Steel Magn Magnolias, I think, and Beaches. Some beaches. Again, this isn't Doctor Who! It's not. It's, it's just not. always like a vague. David Tennant was once in this thing. What was it? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Steel Magnolias. You're being correct. It's Shirley Valentine. Well, that's that's cool. still three to George. Give, give me a, give me, me. I don't want to say give me a half one, but feel free. Um, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> this would be hard for me. So let's see if you have you watched the demons. No. Fantastic. <laughs> so, what is was the name of the titular demon in the third Doctor adventure, the demons? And this is multiple choice. Okay. Is it Azal? Is it Azan? Is it Satazar? Or is it a zog? You could just be talking like. Yeah, I could just I be making know. it up. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Well, I don't. But what, 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 whatever the the second one was. Azan. Azan. Oh, it's a zal. Oh dear. Good yeah. old Azal. I know guess I'll be remembering that fun fact for about two minutes before I just forget it for the rest of my. Life. <laughs> Have um, you watched the demons? Let us know in the comments down below, or don't. In the demons, what was Bok? What was Bok? What was Bok? <laughs> what was Bok? Ah, oh, Bok. The fond memories what, I have of what, Bok. What, what was he? Who, yeah, Bok? What? Was he a robot? Is that your final answer? Yes. No. What was he? He was a gargoyle that comes to life. How is that guessable? Oh, uh, good old Bok the when gargoyle. I think of the de when I think of the demons, I think of like... Gargoyles? I don't know what the demons is! What are the only two Doctors not to have come face to face with the Cybermen? That is difficult, because when you say it's not true, can you just cast like... Would, One of them is would, technically not true. It's yeah, yeah well that, that's the ninth Doctor, but then... Who's the other one? Yeah. I'll give you this, nine is one of them. I think it's the third Doctor. It is not. It specifically states the third Doctor did not have a full adventure, but met them in the five Doctors, so it counts that. That is so sneaky. The other that one is so sneaky. was McGann. Of course. <laughs> Although I call rubbish That's because the ninth mad. Doctor was face to face with the Cyberman in Dalek. Yeah, that's a bit dodgy. It specifically but says face knew, to face. I knew it meant like ninth Doctor, but then that Paul McGann, that's sneaky. That, that is sneaky. That Lies. is sneaky. Oh dear. oh dear, it went behind my TV. Well, I'll we'll find that about three years. Yeah. Would now, be. you remember that bit in the TV movie where the side man pokes his head out of the morgue and was like, hello. Does he look like a snake as well? Or he does, yeah. Oh, okay. What a weird story. It's like the snake. I love it. When the Tenth Doctor is faced with the Sycorax, there's your monster mention, in his pyjamas and dressing gown, which famous comedy character did he liken himself to? Oh, no, I know this. I, uh, Arthur think? Dent. Yes. Yes! Well done. Oh, I know my tenant. In Forest of the Dead, what name did the acronym CAL stand for? So C-A-L, what did it stand for? Oh, that is, that is dirty, that. Um, Guess along at home. Um, I can give like, you one of them, and then you can try and guess the other two. Go on. The L stands for Lux. Right, because I would, I would have said library, so they would, that straight, That's away, well. straight away, it's already going well. Lux. Mm. Do you remember the story? What was CAL? Yeah, I, I kind of vaguely remember what Cal was, but Lux doesn't help. The first half of Calpol, that's what it stands for. I don't know. I it is don't Charlotte know. Abigail Lux. It was the name I've... of the computer woman person. Right, right. It was the, yeah. With whom did the 11th Doctor visit California at Christmas 1952 alongside Abigail Pettigrew? Does it mean the guy or the celebrity? Because there was... Ah, uh, the guy. Oh, Kazran. Was it? Kazran Sardik? Yeah, I don't even like that episode that much. Do you not? No, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's better than The Doctor, The Widow, The Wardrobe, uh, but that's uh, not saying much, is it? No, I <laughs> actually, I can't even remember that, and I've just rewatched it recently, so there we go. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. It's January. It is January, yeah. <laughs> In fact, this will probably come out, like, February 1st. Which escapologist do both the 3rd and 13th Doctor mention to that they had spent time with? Oh. Uh, escapologist. And the 13th? Mm. Who died, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Houdini? I mean, do you 
Is that your answer? Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> I, I thought that, but I'm thinking that doesn't sound right for some reason. I can't work out why. Escapologist. I thought you'd get messed up with the word. Four to George, three to Jack. What was the name of the planet that the Byzantium crashed on following Weeping Angels to regenerate in the maze of the dead? And there are multiple choices for this one. Let me think first. So, the planet. Still from the multiple choices. For some reason, Apalapachia yeah. sprung to mind. I know it's not that. So it's either Alfava Matraxis, Alfava and Mover, <laughs> Alfava Matronkos, or Alfava Metropole. It's not words. No, they're not. Off that, maybe you just passed out one day. Just like the Weeping Angels. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with whatever the fourth one was. Alfava Metropole. Yeah, sure. That's horribly incorrect. No, it's the first one. Oh, Alfava no. Alfava Metrakis. Met How did I not know? Metrisis? I don't know. Was it Scaro? That's a horrible question. I, I yeah. challenge anyone to get that Fuck one. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's Hi see. kids, hope you're enjoying. Go to bed! In which month of the year did the 10th Doctor regenerate into the 11th? What month of the year? Oh, well, no, because he should be. Hang on, in terms of us watching it? Yeah, like the release. When thing. did he regenerate into January? Yeah. First. It is January. Damn it, I was hoping he was going to say December. Yeah, because he... Curse your knowledge. You know, what, what baffled me there is, is, is it... Because then the 11th hour is technically set at, like, March, isn't it? Quiz me, bitch. Why is it the Exorcist? What is this? What kind of strange weapon does Rory's father Brian use to fight off a pterodactyl? Oh, trowel. It's trowel. Yeah. Oh, that's too easy. Thanks, Shit. Brian. Shout out to Brian. You've got Doris. I've got Brian. Cheers, Doris. I'm gonna ask this only because it links into the last question. I think that's funny. Right. What type of ball does Brian throw at Tricy the Triceratops? What type of ball? Well, the joke was it was his balls, wasn't it? But that was that was sort of what they did in the episode. It, it'd that, be that, that ballsy that. to put that on the card. Yes, it would. So if I, if I get this right, I've, I've won, man. Oh, shit, yeah, you, you do. I didn't think that one through. It's a golf ball. A very grassy golf ball. And with that question... Here we go. Georgie Sheard has won. Doctor Who Trivial Pursuit. How, how are you feeling? I'm pretty excited to rob you of a book. Well, as you say, you get to choose one of these. You've got Time Lash, Keys of Marinus, Frontios, Rose. I think David. I know exactly which one I'm going for. I think I'm going to go for Rose. You're going to go for Rose? That's all right. You sure? may. This feels of a bit. Course. This is a rock. <laughs> and for winning Trivial Pursuit, there we go. Rose. Written oh. by Russell T. DeVees. DeVees. You Russell, got that. Russell T. DeVees. I wonder what he's doing now. Probably not up to much. Nah. I don't think. That's fair. I've never, I've never read this. I was always meant to get, uh, get my answer. Well, I'm, I'm right. happy to help by losing a trivial pursuit. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's amazing. Tune in next time where George won't be here. <laughs>